welcome back to a new video today i want to do a house tour i haven't done a house tour ever since i moved here and that was like five months ago every time i think of doing it something just comes up and i end up not doing it so today i was like finally I have to do it the way i love watching other people's house tours on youtube i feel like i've watched literally every house tour that exists i need to do one myself now have in mind that this house has a long 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 way to go when it comes to like furnishing i still have so many things that i'm planning on buying but i was like let me just do this house tour now and then once i buy everything that i intend to buy then i'll do like an updated house tour guys buying furnishing houses is not cheap and it's not easy especially when it comes to styling like you have something in mind and then when you buy it it doesn't turn out the way you want it to look then you have to return it it's hectic but it's a lovely process honestly if you enjoy doing it so yeah um without talking too much because i'm already getting tired i'm already getting tired let me let me flip the camera so that i can show you my current house that i absolutely love i might not have like a lot of things but i'm happy of where i am i'm really happy <laughs> by the end i love love my house so yeah let's do the house tour all right you guys so this is where we are going to get started so right over here we have some curtains some sheer curtains uh this is actually what i wanted i think i've done a video on this like where i bought the cuttings from how much they were if you're interested you can check my previous videos i think i've done a video if i'm not wrong but yeah i wanted sheer curtains and when i got there the guy tried to convince me that the sheer curtains would not look good but i was like no i know what i've come for and that's what i'm getting and i'm so happy i decided to go with the sheer curtains they absolutely transform a space but they i know you can't tell that this these are sheer curtains but they are they are the heavy ones and they are white is this white or cream i i think on the camera it appears like it's white but it's actually cream now the only thing that i regret not doing are the rings you see those two rings up there they are brown in color i wish i got them in gold that would have looked so nice but i didn't think about that at that time when i was getting the curtains it's only when i came at home and i was like yo you know what would have looked so nice was if i got like gold gold rings but i was like ah, it's okay i can always change them if i get bored with the brown ones but apart from that i love love these sheer curtains and they are so long but they go all the way down there which i love and then at the corner i've placed my shoes those are the shoes that i usually like always grab when i'm going out and then i have a mat over here that's my toilet i'm going to show you that and then up there i have two wall arts they used to be three but one they actually used to be four i've remembered back in billy i've placed another one Apoka kitchen, you you guys are going to see it, but yeah. So that's how the space looks like. Those are the, the, the sockets, and then this is my toilet. I'm going to show you that. But yeah, this So guys, after the door, like where the curtains are, um, I've already shown you that that's the toilet at the far end. I'm going to show you that as the last thing. And then this is my kitchen. I'm standing far because I feel like the quality Nikiwa Mbali is much better than Nikiwa Karibu. And I want you guys to like see, see it vizuri. But yeah, that's my kitchen space. That's my counter. But I love that car space so much. I love what I've done with it. Of course, it can be improved more. But for now, I am satisfied. So at the other side, I have a dish rack. That's where I place my dishes once I'm done cleaning. And then, and then I have two floating shelves. On the first floating shelf, Nimeka vines. I got those vines from House of Leather. Actually, everything from those two floating shelves nearly buy House of Leather, if I'm not mistaken. The vines were very affordable, like 400. And then that's just an empty, empty planter that 
didn't have anything so nikazieka hapo ndo zikae kama they are growing but they are fake and then those two three empty verses miandiko love laugh love i got them for like 200 house of leather but they, they have really really nice decor items and they are very affordable so yeah so those three are around 200 each the other black thing this yeah that was actually a pen holder but i decided to use it as a decor item and then that's the other wall art that came with the other three zenye niliwaonyesha but yeah i love that space by the those floating floating shelves i'm so happy with what i did like i'm so proud of myself because but then ikikuja kwa hii nyumba was like now what am i going to do with those spaces the other lady who was here alikuwa ameka glasses but i didn't want like to place glasses yoni kani na kila mtu but yeah i love love that space and then down here i have like that's everything that i use when i'm cooking so in jaribu karibia this is everything that i use for cooking i have that those mukos over there this is a fake plant that i got from house of leather for 400 shillings this is a sugar dish i think you can get uh that type of a sugar dish anywhere that's a soul shake i got it from okadeko but the okadeko pia they have really really nice things by the way and they can be affordable because like this uh, oil dispenser i got it for from them okadeko for 190 bob imagine and i thought like that was so so affordable and yeah and then this um I, this i got from house of leather as well for 400 shillings and then i just placed it there to add some character into the whole thing is it guy so boring and then now this i don't even know what this is but nilibai pia okadeko i don't know what it is for i just love that it was gold in color and now i have no use for it but yeah so that's the other space And then down there I have my two banana that I cook from. I need to buy a table by the way because I've placed it on my small car fridge. I don't use the fridge. So I need to get a table so that I can start using my fridge. But yeah. That's everything kwa kitchen. By the way, I did not show you the cabinets. How rude of me. <laughs> let me let me show you. But there that's a That's how the vines are looking when I'm closer. So on top of uh, the floating shelves, I have this cabinet that I usually place my utensils. As you can see, I don't have a lot of utensils, guys. I live alone. And I know it could use some work, but <laughs> for now, it's okay. It looks okay and I'm satisfied with it. But yeah and then by the down there i also have more storage like these are cabinets that's a cabinet like i have a lot a lot of storage this is where i store my food and i don't think there's need of me showing you that and then this is where i cook from that's my two burner and yeah so that's my whole kitchen space so on top of the floating shelves we have this thing i don't know the name of it but i love those two bulbs cuz they actually change color like the you can switch it to blue and then a uh, lighter blue and then this one which i love especially at night i wish i had filmed at night cuz i usually put the blue bulb it looks so so nice and i love it so yeah Yeah, that's what I mean. So, yeah. On this other side, I've placed some house shoes. Like I said, this house can really get cold sometimes. And then I have an extra pair for when I have guests. And then on the other side, I have a plant that is thriving and I never take it outside by the way. And then I have a plant stand that plant stand used to be my side table but when i 
came here i had no use for it and then i decided let me use it as a plant stand and i think it looks okay i used to have a mirror by the way here but i sold it because i want to buy a new one it's actually ready i'm supposed to pick it but maybe on my next vlog my mirror will be here and i'm excited about that this plant has thrived by the way and i never take it outside <laughs> i never take it outside so i usually place water Hapochini, and then I think in a nyonya or something. I don't know how that works, but it works because the plant is still alive and I'm happy about that. <laughs> and then after my plant, we have that whole space that my TV stand is supposed to go there. I need to buy a TV stand and then Apo Juni TV, but I'll show you that space, Nikki and I side. Oh, it needs to focus. There you go. So yeah. And then... We'll come to this side. Apo kwa, kwa counter, I am supposed to buy some bustles. And yeah, I just need to buy some bustles. Bustles are expensive, so that we'll have to wait. <laughs> but over here we have like this chair. What's the name? M M's chair. I don't know the exact name, but yeah. And then I've placed this for... This far rug here. I got this from Isili for 1200 bob. Yeah. So, I actually prefer when the chair has this than when it's empty. But yeah. On the other corner, those are clothes that I'm supposed to give away. And then that's my, that's everything I use when I am shooting. My ring light, tripod, and everything else. And yeah, that's that. And then we have a carpet. I've done a video of where I got this carpet from. I got it from Toy Market. But if you want to watch that video, you can check my channel. You'll see it there. And then, what else? Okay. <laughs> That's my couch. I've had this couch for such a long time. And it was such a good deal. It's a new couch, by the way. Any of Tengenezia at a very, very good price. So if you're looking for a couch and you're on a very tight budget, holla at me, I'll give you his number. The only thing, I wanted a grey couch, I can't even say you're green, because like, this is clearly not grey. When I do it on camera, I can't even say it's grey, but it's actually green, which I was disappointed. But it's fine, at least I have a couch. And that's what matters, I guess. We have pillows <laughs> and a throw blanket. That is just for decoration. The throw blanket, I thrifted it from Nakuru a long time ago. It's actually quite small, so I just use it like as a as a decor piece. And then the pillow. I got these pillows from Smart Lady Home. And some I got... I have other pillows on my bed. Some I got from... I... Kamukunji. Smart Lady Home is also another place that they usually sell like really really nice decor pieces. I would absolutely recommend them. But yeah, so that's the the chair that I showed you. And then that's my couch. And then here we have a table that is the star of the show. I love this coffee table, you guys. I love it. And I don't think I, that I will ever get rid of it. So I got this from an Instagram page and they actually delivered because I sent the exact picture and this is what I wanted and this is what I get got. I got the inspo from Pinterest. Of course, if you're into house decor and you don't have Pinterest, nah, you're sleeping on them. Pinterest is the app that it thinks it is because anything, any inspo you want, just check uh, Pinterest and you will be sorted. So yeah, so that's the coffee table. I think I've already told you that the carpet I got from Toy Market. And then the coffee table, Nelly Tengenezon, I'm to Instagram. If you want their details, uh, comment down below and I'll hook you up. And then to your coffee table, we have all these things. So the two decor books, I got them from town. And they were affordable by the way they were 350 and i remember that time when i was buying them they were going for 500 700 so i thought like that was such a steal to buy them for 300 so modani modani yesl nangina ni tom ford i love those 
coffee books by the way i love them and then we have a diffuser i got it from little more this is a scented candle that i got from okadeko for 200 shillings they were on offer and i was so happy guys as you can see i have literally used this scented candle and i'm happy about that and then this vase i got from house of leather the cadog on top pure house of leather the vase was going for 200 300 very affordable as i've said guys you check them out and you'll not be disappointed these beads i got them from an instagram page for 600 yeah and i remember there was one that i had seen but was very expensive like 1200 and i was like i pan so when i saw this offer yeah 600 the beads these are the beads that i'm talking about i was like yeah i think i'm i'm going to get it for 600 and then uh this glass jar from house of leather the flowers as well and then this um do you mind <laughs> These coasters I got from Okadeko and they were also on offer. And then the other, this, this, it's also, um, it's a coaster. I got it from Little More. I wanted more, but they didn't have, they were out of stock, so I got one. And then Nikenda Okadeko and I found more. So I got that. So yeah, that's everything. Go your coffee table. So this other side is where I've placed my TV. It's a 43 inch. And then my Wi-Fi. I'm supposed to buy a TV stand and place it here. There's a whole space that it's a Toshia TV stand. So yeah, that's my sitting arrangement. So yeah, on this corner I have this uh, basket, canvas basket. I believe that's what it's called. I got it from Smart Lady Home and it was a very affordable, 400 or 300. And yeah, that's why I place every miscellaneous thing that I don't use on a daily. And yeah, and then I have a pillow. I've placed that pillow there so that at least, I don't know, for decoration purposes i have a mirror that i don't even use i don't even know why they placed that mirror there because i don't know but yeah and then that's an empty empty basket that's where i place my dirty clothes but now i is yosha and everything is clean and i'm happy about that this is just my laptop and this is my bed i don't like this bed by the way i really really don't so yeah, I need to change it and I've been thinking about that for such a long time. I don't know why I still don't change it, by the way. I really, really hate it. But at least I have a bed, so I'm grateful about that. And then I have, like, pillows. Those three pillows at the back, I got them from Kamukunji. They were very affordable, 200, 250. And then the far, the far pillow, I got it from Isili for 600. And I love it. I love it love it by the way it just makes the place look more cozy i don't know but yeah that's my bed situation and then up here we have some curtains you can't even see oh my god i think it's because of the light let me let me see yeah those are the curtains i don't think you can clearly see them because they call like against the light but they are white they are sheer curtains with the same as when you look so yeah guys i had almost forgotten to show you my closet uh, this is where i've arranged all my clothes my shoes my bags literally everything down there i have bags that i use on a daily i've placed them there so that it can be so easy for me to just grab and go like i just love making my life easy you know <laughs> and then i have some sweaters more sweaters and tops and then i have trousers on the other side and dresses i can't show you that because I feel like that's unnecessary and then i have some jackets that i just wear every day that's why i've placed them there so that can be easy when it's time to go I just grab and i'm out of the door but yeah that's 
that's it that's my closet and then we have more storage up here and it doesn't have anything major just some blankets more clothes that i don't use but yeah that's my closet And then I believe I've already shown you my bed. Now we have this whole empty wall that needs to be worked on. I really don't even know what to put on here. I was thinking of buying around mirror from Little More. But then I thought I would have so many mirrors in the house and that will look a bit unrealistic. So I'm thinking of buying wall art. Ama, if you have a suggestion of what to do with this whole empty wall, please comment down below and give me some ideas. I could really use some ideas. But yeah, what I have in mind though is buying wall art. Like huge wall art. Nikipata kama ambili ya matatu. There's one million okadeko, but they're very expensive. So yeah. Is that <laughs> but we really need to decorate this whole space? Do in a car empty by the in a car empty? We buy sana. I had completely forgotten to show you my washroom, but here we are. So, right on the door, I have that hook that I bought from House of Leather for around 500, it was very affordable and it has lasted for a long time i was worried that it would get rust on it but it's still in good condition so i'd suggest you get yourself one because it reduces the um the damage on the door when you put those hooks am i you put nails on the door it doesn't look nice but this one you just need to remove it and you can put it back and it looks great that's why i place my towel and then i have a back scrubber that i got from the boys for 150 by the way very very affordable and yeah guys this is my toilet pretty basic nothing major <laughs> so i have a sink uh, there i wish they put a mirror by the way that's the only thing i didn't like i wish they had like a mirror here but i can always put that up myself and then hand wash and then that's where I place my toothbrush, my Colgate and everything. Those are my basins that I use to clean, wash clothes and everything else. That's just a basic toilet guys. There's nothing, nothing major. But I love the contrast of the black and white tiles. I love that. That, that was so thoughtful. That was nice. And then we have some tissues some gloves by the way if you're not using this please get yourself some and thank me later the way these things scrub all your sins i love them i absolutely love them and then this is just everything that i use these are my toiletries by the way these two shower gels this and this i got from the boys and i've not had any reaction whatsoever and as you can see i need to buy more and also this by the way i got it from um the boys and they have served me so well so far so yeah that's everything guys i i, I think you can clearly see what and what it is i don't need to go through every item but yeah that's my toilet again the black and white tiles that i love let me get back so that you can see oh and up there we have shower so yeah that's the toilet and the sink and that's it we've come to the end of the video uh, i know this video was all over the place but i hope you enjoyed watching it regardless and yeah let me get down to editing and i will see you on my next video and thank you for watching guys and please remember to subscribe baby please remember to subscribe and yeah